Hey friends, welcome to this 45 minute strong power flow practice focused on back bends and deepening your back bend. Now you won't need any props, however, like always, if you want two blocks to support you, then please grab them now. And if you're looking for ways to support me, if you could like this video, share it with any of your friends and family, and of course, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Enjoy the practice. So we'll start the practice at the top of the mat, bringing the feet hips distance, spreading the toes, softening the knees, and bring the hands into prayer at the heart. And take a moment to just land here, close the eyes, feel the grounding of the feet, and take a big breath in into the heart, into the front and the back of the heart. And then slow breath out, and envision the breath going all the way down to the feet. I'm just grounding you even more on your mat. And then you might start to come up with your intention for practice today. The real reason of why you came to your mat. And what is it that you want to cultivate, not just for this practice, but maybe for the rest of your day. And then just leaning into that intention and allowing it to rest at the heart. And when you feel ready, take a breath in, open the eyes, releasing the hands and the breath out. Sweep the arms up overhead, take a big inhale. Grab a hold of the right wrist and lean to the left on the exhale. And then back to center, breathe in. Grab a hold of the left wrist and lean to the right. Keep the knees soft. Find length from the left fingertips all the way to the left heel. And then back to center, on the inhale, interlace the fingers behind the back with an open clasp. So not bringing the palms together just yet. Then roll the shoulder heads back and imagine like you want to bring the shoulder blades together and forwards as the shoulders move back and the heart lifts up. Keep the chin tucked in, keep the knees soft, low back long. Pressing down into the big toes. It's almost like the knees want to knock in towards one another, but not quite. At the same time, can you spread the feet wide? Send the gaze up with the eyes, take another inhale. And then gently, gently coming back to center. Control it with the low belly as you release the hands. Then deep, deep bend into the knees. Fold in on the exhale. Halfway lift, breathe. Fold the breath out. Halfway lift and count. Now we're going to step back to downward facing dog. So bend the knees, plant the hands down, stepping back. So think arms super straight like handstand. Ground down into the knuckles. And even though you're thinking really straight arms, can you just keep this tiny, tiny bend in the elbows as the thumbs hug in? Send the gaze back to the feet. Knees soft, sit bones nice and high, so especially if this is your first downward dog. Just take your time, keep bending the knees. So allow the time for the hamstrings to open. Then rise up onto the balls of the feet, wave it forward, shoulders on top of the wrist, so this will be like a short plank. And then exhale, bend the knees and press back to downward dog. We're going to do that a couple of times. So come up high onto the balls of the feet, wave it forwards, plank pose. It's the rounding of the upper back. And exhale, bend the knees, press the chest back to the thighs. Think more of the back bend as you press back. Rolling forwards on the inhale. Bend the knees, press back and exhale. Rolling forwards, breathe in. Bend the knees, press back, breath out. Keep the toning of the low belly through the movement. Last round, inhale. Press back, exhale. Now wave it forwards, breathe in. Drop the knees down to the mat on the breath out. Take an in-breath and let the breath lead you to the back bend. Heart moves forward, sit bones back. Exhale, chin to chest, press the tops of the feet down as you round the upper back. And feel the exhale coil you even more into the rounding. 
Breathing in to open. Let the breath expand and open the shoulders. Exhale, chin to chest, round, curl in. So feel the length through the low back as you round. Just once more, inhale to open. Exhale to round. Send the gaze forwards, breathe in. Walk the hands forwards, shift the pelvis forwards, lower all the way down onto the belly. Bring the fingertips wider than the mat and come up onto the fingertips, tracking the elbows up. Spread the toes. Now think about pressing your pubic bone down, but scooping the belly away from the mat at the same time. Keep grounding the tops of the feet down, but keep the knees off the mat. Start to lift the chest, keep the belly scooping up, take an inhale, keep the length through the low back. Lower down at exhale. So just be mindful, getting deep into the back bends now. If you need to just come up a little less or not so high, then that's okay. And then again, breathe in. Lower down, breath out. Two more. Imagine that there's a block between the thighs. Squeeze in as the heart lifts up. Exhale to lower. Last one. Inhale. Lower down, hands either side of the chest, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog, press it back. Gaze between the feet, knees soft. Again, super straight arms. Little bend at the elbows as the thumbs hug in. Now notice what your pelvis is doing here. Think about those cat and cows you just did, how the sit bones want to go up and back. You think more of that cow position as the heart goes towards the thighs. And now just staying in your down dog, think more of that cat position, tailbone moving towards the heels. There's a gentle tucking under, gentle rounding. Now see if you can find this happy medium here. So you're still lengthening through the low back as the chest moves back and the sit bones are still going up, but there is still length through the low back as well. Then come up high onto the balls of the feet, arms really straight. Exhale, bend the knees, walk to the top of the mat. High up onto the fingertips or hands to shins, halfway lift, breathe in. Bow in, fold in, breath out. Rise all the way up to stand, big in breath. Grab a hold of the left wrist and lean to the right on the out breath. Back to center, breathe in. Grab a hold of the right wrist and lean to the left on the breath out. Back to center, inhale. Soften the knees, interlace the fingers. Still keep the palms open. Maybe a different grip, different thumb on top. Roll the shoulder heads back, shoulder blades come together and forwards. Lift the heart, lift the gaze with the eyes, take an inhale. Release the hands, forward fold on the exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Step back, plank pose on the breath out. Inhale, this time chaturanga on the exhale. Either cobra to the belly or upward facing dog, roll through the feet. Breathing in, lengthen through the crown. Downward facing dog, long breath out. Slow breath in. Long breath out. Keep the gaze between the feet. Take another inhale. Steady exhale. Feet come together. Come up high, balls of the feet in, on the in breath. Arms super straight, think like handstand, bend the knees on the out breath, step or hop. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold breath out. This time you can keep the feet together, rise all the way up to stand. Big inhale. Straight to it, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Plank pose, step it back on the breath out. Now find the rounding of the upper back, but heart still open. Look forwards, breathe in, shift the weight forwards. Chaturanga, just go halfway down, breath out. Cobra or upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. 
Steady gaze between the feet, knees soft. Take a breath in, notice where the pelvis is. Find that happy medium of the gentle tuck or the opening. Sit bones back. Last breath in. Full breath out. Feet come together. Come up high, balls of the feet, inhale round. Bend the knees, exhale, arms super straight, step and hop. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up, breathing in, big toes press down, work the palms to touch. Fold in long and rest out. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, you can step, jump any way through. Upward facing dog, breathing in. Downward facing dog, long and rest out. Slow inhale. Steady gaze between the feet and the exhale. One more breath in. Long breath out. Feet come together, come up high, balls of the feet and the in breath, round, shift the shoulders forwards. Bend the knees on the out breaths, super straight arms, step or hop. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold breath out. Rise all the way up on the in breath. Last round, fold in on the out breath. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, so don't go too low if you're jumping. Upward facing dog or cobra pose, breathing in. Downward facing dog, long breath out. And this time, right leg up towards the sky, take the in breath. Bend the knee and open up through the hip on the out breath. So again, notice your pelvis. Notice how when you bring your knee out really wide, that the low back, that there's still like an arching of the low back. And it can be quite a deep back bend for the low back. See if you can draw the knee a little bit closer towards the right side body, the right rib cage. So just taking the back bend out of the low back. And then straighten out through the right leg, point the toe down, take an inhale. Knee to nose, step the foot between the hands, more towards the right thumb and drop the left knee down. Hug the feet towards one another, sweep the arms up overhead, take a big breath in. Now here, hook the thumbs on the breath out, spread the fingers wide. See if you can work the shoulder heads back. But again, just like I did right at the start of practice, think about the shoulder blades coming together and forwards as your shoulder heads move back. Lift the heart a little higher. So rather than thinking all the energy going backwards, think more upwards. Bend deeper into the front knee as you hug the right heel to the left knee. Take one more big in breath. Hands down to the mat on the out breath. Bring the right hand to the left thigh, sorry, to the right thigh. Roll the right shoulder head back and gaze over the right shoulder. You can either stay here or bend the back knee and grab a hold of the left foot with the right hand. Now spread the toes. If you have the back foot, think about kicking the shin back and leaning back. So you're going into a bit of a back bend here and a twist. Keep pressing that right big toe down. Take a breath into the heart. Stay long breath out. One more inhale. Release the right foot as you exhale. Sorry, left foot. Step back downward facing dog. And then again, find the steady gaze. Left leg up towards the sky on the inhale. Bend the knee, open up through the hip. And then again, notice just first how when you lift that left leg higher, the back bend and the low back. So start to draw the navel in even more. See if you can bring that left knee just a smidge closer in, just to take the back bend out. 
then straighten out through the left leg, point the toe down, knee to the nose, step the left foot to the left thumb, drop the right knee down. Sweep the arms up overhead, take a big breath in, hook the thumbs on the breath out. Shoulder heads move back, heart lifts up, reach the fingertips up, and then find the groundingness through the feet. That left heel hugs into the right knee. Send the gaze up with the eyes. One more big breath in. And then releasing the hands down on the breath out. Bring the left hand to the left thigh. Roll the shoulder head back. Send the gaze over the left shoulder. Either stay here or bend that back knee and grab a hold of the right foot with the left hand. Now, if you have the foot again, press the shin back as you lift the heart up a little higher. Take a slow breath in. Long breath out. And again, one more. Inhale, lift the heart a little higher. Release the back foot as you exhale. Pick the back knee off the mat and then step back down one facing dog. Keep the gaze between the feet. Take a slow breath in. And then bring the feet together on the breath out. Come up high onto the balls of the feet on the inhale. Bend the knees, look forward to the step or lightly hop this time, feet hips distance. Come up high onto the fingertips, take the breath in and then fold in on the breath out. And then halfway lift in cow, lower the knees down to the mat. So you might want to walk the feet about foot's distance back, and then drop the knees down. Imagine like there's a block between the knees, squeeze in, press into the feet and sweep the arms up overhead, take an inhale, hook the thumbs as you exhale. Work the shoulder heads back, Keep spreading the fingers and lift the chest up. Take a breath in. Stay on the breath out. Slow in breath. Keep squeezing that imaginary block in as you press into the feet. Long out breath. One more inhale. Hands down to the mat. Now either you can step back down dog or jump back chaturanga as the hands plant down. Shoot the legs back, bend the elbows. Cobra or upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog on the breath out. Now right leg up towards the sky on the inhale. Straight to it, knee to the nose, curl in. Step the right foot to the right thumb and pivot the back heel down for warrior one. So right knee bends, right hip pulls back, arms sweep up overhead, take a breath in. This time, interlace the fingers behind the back. You might want to bring the palms towards one another. If that feels okay for your shoulders. Keep bending the elbows and start to send the fists down, hard up, take an inhale. Either stay here or come down halfway on the exhale. Another breath in, find more length from the crown all the way to the back heel. Either hold or fold all the way in. Keep hugging that right outer hip in, sinking deeper into that front knee. Take an in breath. Stay on the out breath. Then ground into that front foot, come all the way back up as you breathe in, release the hands, sweep the arms up. Hands down to the mat, downward facing dog, sit back. Straight to it, left leg up towards the sky on the inhale. Knee to the nose, curl in, step the left foot to the left thumb, pivot the back heel down. So right toes are pointing to about either one or two o'clock. Bend the front knee, sweep the arms up, big inhale. Different interlace of the fingers behind the back, so different thumb on top. See if you can work the palms towards one another. Fist down, hard up, breathe in. Come down halfway on the breath out. Hold for the in-breath, find more length. 
Either stay or fold all the way down on the out breath. Breathing in. Steady breath out. Keep wrapping that left outer hip in. And then big breath in to come up. Release the hands, sweep the arms up. Inner thigh still spinning in with that back leg. Hands down to the mat, downward facing dog. Feet together, toes to touch. Come up high, balls of the feet, arms super straight. Exhale, bend the knees. We're going to hop the feet, hips distance apart again to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. If you need to, walk the feet back. We're going to bend the knees, lower the knees down to the mat on the exhale. Squeeze that block in. This time, right hand to the right heel. Start to sweep the left arm overhead as you press the hips forward. Take a breath in. And then lower the left hand down, bring the sit bones back to the heels on the breath out, and then switch it. Bring the left hand to the left heel, sweep the right arm up, inhale. Lower the hips down as you exhale. And then again, right hand to the right heel, press the hips forwards, left arm up, breathe in. This time, work the left shoulder head back, lift the heart up a little higher, send the gaze up. Exhale with control, lower the hips down. Left hand to the left heel, sweep the right arm up, breathe in. Work the right shoulder, head back, lift the heart up a little higher. Keep pressing into the feet. Exhale, lower down hips to heels. Then have a moment here, bring the fingertips forwards, release the tops of the feet down, sit bones to heels. Ooh. Turn the palms up, take a breath in into the heart. Slow breath out. Inhale. Steady exhale. So we're going to do a little bit of core work here just to counter all the back bends we've been doing. So bring the knees together, move the hips to one side, plant the feet down. So especially as we're going to go deeper with the back bends, we want to make sure that our core is firing effectively to hold the structure and hold the shape. So come down onto your back. We're going to bring the hands underneath the glutes, like so. Roll the shoulder heads back. So you're staying really broad across the chest. Now bring the feet together and come right onto the tippy toes with the knees bent. So you might want to watch me for a moment if you're not quite sure. We're going to take a breath in and draw the knees in towards the chest. And you might just lift the hips just a teeny tiny bit. And then as you exhale, we're going to lower the knee, the legs down with the knees bent and tap the floor. And then back up, breathe in. Just a tiny little lift. Exhale, lower. Tap. Back up, inhale. Try to not let your shoulders come off the mat. Exhale. Back up, breathe in. Lower. Tap. Back up, inhale. Of course, if you want more fire, you can straighten the legs fully, but I'm going to keep the bend in the knees. Back up, breathe in. Lower down, breath out. Back up, inhale. Lower down, breath out. Three more in. Exhale down, tap. Breathing in. Exhale, tap. Last one, inhale. Exhale, tap. Hug the knees to the chest. Release the hands from underneath the glutes. Rock them side to side. And then send the legs straight up and just make sure that the heels are right on top of the sit bones. Interlace the fingers behind the head. Take a breath and lift the chest. Lower the right leg down and twist the left breath out. Right leg back up, inhale. Lower the head shoulders down, exhale. Inhale, lift head shoulders off the mat. Lower the left leg down, twist to the right. Back up, breathe in. Lower head shoulders down, breath out. And again, inhale to lift. I know we're going slow and it's actually harder. Right leg down, twist to the left. Right leg back up, breathe in. Head shoulders down, breath out. Inhale, lift. Twist to the right, lower the left leg down. 
back up breathe in lower down breath out last round inhale lift right leg lowers lift twist to the left back up breathe in lower down breath out inhale lift lower the left leg down twist to the right back up breathe in lower down hug the knees to the chest on the breath out little rocks from side to side ah. and then little rocks up and down the spine and then once you rock up Either you can stay here, hands behind the knees, roll the shoulder heads back, lift the chest. Or if you want more, pick the feet off the mat, spread the toes. If you want even more, send the arms forwards. If you want even more, send the legs up. Imagine like you have a block between the legs, squeeze in, hold for three. Keep the heart open, chest lifted, two and one. Bend the knees, cross over at the ankles, point the toes, roll over the shins. Plant the hands down and then just take a moment. You can take a vinyasa or you can drop the knees down. Come into a cobra pose. So you lift the heart, point the feet, but bring the toes together. Maybe you bend the knees, press into the hands and lift the heart up. Now, if this feels too much for the low back, you can always extend the legs. Roll the shoulder heads back. Lift the chest. Take another breath in and then gently release on the breath out. Tuck the toes under, inhale. Press back to child's pose with control on the exhale. All right, so here you can take a dolphin pose. I nearly forgot the name of it just then. <laughs> dolphin pose into pincher or you hold the dolphin pose and stay there one leg up other leg up child's pose whenever you need or an arm balance pincher <laughs> hope those instructions made sense i'm going to break it down and show you the step by step so you grab opposite elbows hands come down to the mat Round the upper back, so curl in. Tuck the toes under and pick the knees off the mat. Send the gaze back to the feet. Now, either you stay here, pressing down into the palms, the forearms. Notice how your shoulders want to move towards the ears. Press the floor away. Move the shoulders down away from the ears. Either hold or send the gaze forwards between the forearms. Walk the right foot, sorry, the left foot a little closer and send the right leg up. Either you stay, you come up high onto the ball of left foot, bend the left knee, you might do a little hop, shifting the shoulders forwards with every little hop. So I don't mind if you get into the pose or not. Of course, it'd be awesome if you can get a little hold and a little lift, that'd be great, but I'm thinking more about whether your shoulders are moving forwards and back enough. So in the shape, you wanna make sure again, Elbows are underneath the shoulders, they don't move. You find the structure, you hold. Now let's start to switch legs. We're going to go the left leg up now. Come up high onto the ball of the right foot. Bend the knee. You want to make sure the shoulders shift forwards as you do a little hop. And then back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the knee, little hop. And then back down. Now a few are up. Squeeze the glutes and think about going, sending the energy all the way up. Spread the toes, press into the balls of the feet for three. And those of you in child's pose, sit bones back towards the heels for two and one. Good. Wherever you are, take a rest. Bring the knees out a little wider. Come into child's pose, but up onto the fingertips. Lower the forehead down, but keep the elbows off the mat. Hmm. And just notice what happens with Pinchamayarasana. It might not necessarily be that you are not strong enough to come into the pose today or you don't have enough energy. It could be that. But it also could be that your shoulders are quite tight. So if you have quite tight shoulders, then it can affect whether you come into the pose or not, or how 
easy the pose is for you. I'm doing a lot of surfing here, so my shoulders are tight, tight, tight. So take a breath into the back of the heart. And slow breath out. And then walk the hands back in. Bring the knees towards one another, but think about a block between the knees, so still about a hips distance apart. Tuck the toes under. And first bring your hands onto your low back, pressing the palms forwards, shoulder heads roll down the back and lift the chest up. So you might stay here or you can go arms up overhead, hook the thumbs, work the shoulder heads back, lift the chest. Or those of you who want to grab a hold of your ankles, you can start to lean back. Keep squeezing that imaginary block in as you press the chest up. Keep grounding into the feet. So now notice what your neck is doing. Keep the chin gently drawn in. So think more Jalandhara Bandha. So there's a hold here at the throat, a lock. Send the gaze up with the eyes. Keep the chin gently drawn in. Maybe you start to send the gaze more up rather than back. Three, two, and one. Press into the feet, hands back to the low back. Slowly, slowly come back. Release the tops of the feet down, sit bones to heels. And then just take a moment here, just feel the after effect of the back bend. When you do back bends, there's actually a lot of endorphins coming up. So it makes you feel really good, even though it can feel quite whew, a lot of energy. Just allow that energy to settle, breathe into the low back, breathe into the heart. And then bringing the knees together, move the hips over to one side and then send the legs forwards towards the front of the mat. Start to lower all the way down. Onto your back. So if you can feel that your body's had enough back bends and you want to heel toe the feet wide and let the no knees knock in, then please do that. You can just let the energy settle, one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Or if you want to take bridge pose, feet hips distance, then I like to use a measurement of my hands, just bringing my fingertips to touch my heels. So you want to think about the knees being directly on top of the heels. That's kind of the intention. That's where you want to find the shape. So then pressing into the feet, lift the hips up. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Then work the shoulder heads towards one another. Press the little pinky finger down. Now allow your pelvis to drop. Let it go a little lower. But then at the same time, as it drops down slightly, think about pressing your shins forwards and lifting your chest up. So notice that your hips will naturally lift, but it's not a forceful press up. Just allowing the pelvis to drop slightly, but then find the lift and energy from the shins moving forwards and the heart lifting up. Definitely do not move your neck in this position. <laughs> Slow breath in. I'm laughing because I've definitely hurt my neck from doing that before. Long breath out. Don't let people chat to you when you're in this position. One more in breath. And then releasing the hands, articulate the spine all the way down on the out breath. Take a breath into the belly, the heart. Long breath out. And then again, breath in, long breath out. Now you can either do bridge pose one more time or those who want full wheel, hands either side of the ears. I always like to come up onto the crown of the head for a moment to plug my shoulder heads back. Then I think strong arms as I press into my hands to lift up. So you come up onto the crown of the head for a moment, 
Just adjust the hands, work the shoulder heads back, press into the feet, really strong arms as you lift up. Now, if you can feel a lot of compression in your low back, come up high onto the balls of the feet and think about creating a little bit more space through that way. Think about the knees going forwards, pelvis drops lightly as you lift the chest up. If you have the space, lower the heels down. Take another breath in. Lower with control on the breath out. Heel toe, the feet wide. One hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Take an inhale. Slow exhale. And again, just notice the art after effects of the back bend, physically and energetically. So try not to rush drawing your knees into your chest. Just stay in neutral for the next three full deep breaths. And then when you feel ready, drawing the knees into the chest, gentle rock from side to side. And we're going to take Gomukhasana here on our back. So cross the right leg in front of the left, lift the chest up and grab a hold of the feet or grab a hold of the shins. So keep the cross of the legs as you start to lower the head back down. Oof. If you can feel your hips are really tight, your head might be coming off the mat. So maybe bring your hands to the shins. Just make sure that you have this nice long spine from the crown all the way to the sit bones. The chin is gently drawn in. And then soften the space between the brows, soften the jaw, shoulders. the breath move through you now in a really just effortless way breathing into all the tight corners we take another inhale and we'll switch sides on the exhale so again you might just need to lift the head to grab a hold of the feet of the shins and then come back down And just notice, especially if you switch sides, all of the gripping that happens, especially if you can feel that this pose is difficult for you, or you find it challenging because the hips are really tight. So again, coming back to softness, softness with the exhale. last breath in and then gently releasing the feet or the shins on the breath out draw the right knee into the chest lower the left foot down and extend the right leg up towards the sky now you might interlace the fingers around the calf or the hamstring maybe you slide that left leg forwards maybe piece fingers around the right big toe you choose but left hand onto the left thigh or front of the hip Roll the right shoulder head back. And notice how your left toes want to kind of splay out to the left. Keep the toes pointing up. So the inner thigh is spinning in. Just keeps the pelvis more stable. Take an inhale. And then pick the head, shoulders off the mat. Track the elbow wide as you exhale. That's if you have a hold of the foot. If you have a hold of the hamstring or the calf, you can lift the head off the mat as well but maybe you don't track the elbow out wide take a breath in and then gently release re-bend the right knee and we'll switch sides left knee into the chest lower the right foot down extend the left leg straight up either interlace the fingers around the hamstring calf or piece fingers of the left 
of the left hand around the left big toe. Maybe slide that right leg forwards, right hand onto the hip or the front of the hip. Toes point up, left shoulder head draws down the back. Big breath in. Maybe stay here or pick the head, shoulders off the mat, curling up on the breath out. Take another inhale and then releasing down on the exhale. Hug the knees into the chest, little rocks from side to side. And then starting to transition into your stillness. If you want to take any other pose, then please do. Otherwise, feet as wide as the mat, a little wider. Arms out wide, palms face up. And just adjust to make sure that the body is really relaxed so you can sink and just now let go of all effort and notice the remnants of the back bends. Notice the effects in the physical and the energetic body. Breathing into the heart. And just really allow yourself to receive after you've opened yourself up. Receive more of the breath. Prana, the grace that's moving through. Maybe even opening yourself up so much that you are receiving more love. Whatever that means to you. And you can stay here for as long as you need, yogis. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.